In a joint hearing of the Senate, state and local government, and House Commerce and Consumer Protection Committees, members delved into a report released by the Office of the Legislative Auditor that questioned the state-regulated purse contributions by running ACES Harness Park. This hearing is about more than the half million dollars that is missing. Uh, it's about the integrity of racing uh, and the integrity of gaming in Minnesota, which ought to be beyond reproach. Uh, we have asked uh, Auditor Nobles, uh, Legislative Auditor Jim Nobles, to join us to do a walkthrough of the report that he prepared uh, and to uh, share with us his findings uh, regarding an issue that uh, members of the House and the Senate have been asking about for some time now. We have three parties to this dispute, and all of them have contributed in some way to this dispute occurring. The Racing Commission contributed by inaction and inattention. The Horsemen's Association contributed by signing agreements in the past that stipulated purse contributions would be made on the takeout, not on the handle. They also entered into a letter of agreement in, on May, in May of 2013 that agreed essentially that they would not press the issue on past underpayments. They changed their mind, they withdrew their approval of that letter of agreement, and they have a quite different opinion now. They're, the Horsemen's Association is that this is something that is within the purview and responsibility of the Racing Commission, and that there should be uh, payment for past underpayment. <coughs> I agree that this is about more than just the money. Uh, this really goes to the integrity of racing and the confidence that all of the constituents have in the Minnesota racing and breeding industry. Um, we're here to sit, serve the public interest, owners, breeders, the public that comes to bet on the races, and the participants themselves uh, owe, are owed at least one thing, and that is clarity about what the law says. And frankly, it's uh, as a 29-year lawyer at 3M, it's an embarrassment to uh, be part of a process where there was a lack of understanding of what the law meant. It's obvious that the Commission itself needs to exercise more rigorous oversight and review not only of purse contributions, but of all the distribution of monies uh, that flow through the various accounts, whether it's the Breeders' Fund, paramutual taxes, uh, and other uh, and purse contributions. We need to uh, take a watchful eye, and we are putting steps in place to do that. We've already begun, and we can talk more about that. You were watching a portion of a joint committee hearing on the Office of the Legislative Auditor report delving into the running ACES controversy. For Senate Media Services, I'm Julie Barkey.